Stop. I'll give you anything you want. Money. If it's money, when well, I got plenty of it. I don't want your money. What is it you want then? I've always had a passion for writing horror stories. I loved reading all the horror novels when I was a boy. Adored all the great writers, but you know who my favorite was? I must have read every work from the great Stephen Lovecraft. Even your uh, later works. So I don't write as well as I used to. But why are you doing this to me? You don't remember. Look at my eyes, Lovecraft. Remember? I can't. I don't remember. Think. I can't. Think! Perhaps this will refresh your memory. Oh, please don't. If you can't remember, then I'll make you. How do the cuts across your flesh feel <laughs> familiar? How about the feeling of a blade producing your skin? How are you doing this? Nathaniel Black, where were you? I was at school, Papa. You're lying to me, boy. No, sir. Miss Jane called. She said you weren't in class. So where were you, Nathaniel? Were you at that book signing I told you not to go to? No, sir. Empty your backpack. Bring that book over to me. The black one. I told you not to waste time with this horror nonsense. It's not nonsense. Now dare you speak back to me. God loves a sinner, but he hates the sin, child. Uh, please, sir. No. I won't speak back in... Your father abused you when you were a boy because you went to my book signing. Why are you taking it out on me? You still don't remember. Remember what? You have to remember. What? No, please don't. I can't take any more. Have you remembered who I am yet? Why I must do this? Nathaniel, I'm not a bad person. I haven't done anything wrong. Oh, I'm sure Katie from fifth grade would disagree with you. Your old friend Simon as well, after you stole his story to win a writer's award. And your own mother, after you pulled her life support to inherit her fortune. How do you know these things? Because I know you better than anyone in this whole world. Better than you do yourself. How? I have no idea who you are, Nathaniel.
Haven't I seen you before? Yes, I'd wager you have seen me before. And yes, I wrote that. That typewriter there. You'd love that. It's right up your alley. Well, I don't really write on them anymore, but I'm quite fond of the old typewriters. My father used to own one just like this. How much do you want for it? I don't want a cent for it. It's brought me nothing but pain. I insist it has to be worth something. I haven't got that wild imagination, but there's no telling what demons you'd be able to think up on it. What dark, dreadful creatures hidden in that skull of yours are just dying to claw their way out onto the page. So it's all yours. Free. Okay, what's the catch? I want you to take that thing and create the nastiest monster you've ever created. But be warned. You take responsibility for your monsters. <laughs> you have no idea how right you are. You don't mind if I take a protest one, do you? <laughs> It works. <coughs> so many years my father used this thing to commit unspeakable torture against me. I still don't understand. Why are you doing this to me? You still don't remember. What if I break your arm? Please. No. What is it you want me to remember? I swear, I don't know what you're talking about. You were warned once to take responsibility for your monsters, Lovecraft. When you created them. I don't remember writing all my novels. You wrote me. You wrote all the horrible things that happened to me. I was addicted to cocaine, heroin, I had a drinking problem. You are my father. And you never even finished the book. I was a mess. I'm different now. You can't abandon your past. You have to face your monsters now, Lovecraft. There's no escaping. I always did love writing horror stories. And I think I know the perfect way to end this one.